Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can animate any pictures just like Iman Gazi does. I'll show you two ways. I'll show you the traditional way, which is really long and not time efficient at all. And I'll show you the second way, which is the best one because it cuts the workload and it saves you a lot of time. So first of all, make sure to import your picture inside of Photoshop to separate the layers. I'll pick this tool right there and I'll simply separate my layers. Let's say that I am happy with my selection, so I'm going to simply click on Ctrl C, then Ctrl V to copy it into another layer. As you can see, it's separated. Now what I'm going to do is simply hide the layer of the duplicate that I created. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is simply select the background layer, and I'll simply select my subject. I'll make a rough selection around the edges like this. I'll do a right click and I'll click on delete and fill selection. So this is what it gives us. The only issue is that I want to keep the table clean. So what I can do is simply take a part of the table right there, a simple part like this, duplicate it, and then I'll copy and paste it. And then I'll simply try to fix the table with this. Okay. Now I'll take the eraser and I'll put the hardness really low and the size a bit high just to polish it up like this. Okay. Now simply merge the table with the background layer now what you're gonna have to do is simply select your table alone ctrl c then ctrl v to duplicate it then what you're gonna have to do now is simply go to the background layer again and delete the table from the background right click delete and fill selection so now we have this and we have the table but the thing with the table is that we're gonna scale it up all the way so i'm simply gonna make it up like that and this actually looks really ugly right now, but it will make sense later on. So now just make sure to put the layer of the table all the way to the top like this. Because my plan is to basically make sure that the table is a flat surface into our 3D animation. So it is really important for us to have a really huge texture of the table like this. So now that your pictures are isolated, you can simply save your project. Now you can open a new After Effects composition. Now what you're gonna have to do is to simply drag and drop your Photoshop file inside of the composition. Once this is done, simply double click on it right there and you'll see all of your layers. Now we will start animating. I'll do it with a traditional way, which is really not good in my opinion. And then I'll show you the second way, which is really a game changer. It really changed my workflow for the best. So first what I'll do is simply create a 3D camera. So I'll right click right there, click on new, then click on camera, then I'll click on OK. Now I'll simply go ahead and create a new null. So I'll click on new, then click on null object. Then I'll make sure to parent it to my camera. Now what I'm going to do is simply put the null layer into a 3D layer. Then I'm going to do the same for all of my layers like this. Now what I'm going to do is simply click on one view, put it in two views. And now I'll simply click on my table layer. I'll click on R and I'll simply rotate it like this. I'll make a rotation, then I'll place it down like this. And I think I'll just kill it up. And now as you can see, the table is not really showing properly. So what I'm going to do is simply select my background layer and push it all the way to the back like this. Click on S and scale it up. Okay, now it's a little bit better. My table is showing. Now what I can do is to simply animate my 3D camera. So I'll just select the null layer that I created click on P, add a keyframe like this, and I'll simply make a, a simple keyframe animation. So the first keyframe will start like this. And I'll leave the last keyframe where it is, like that. Simply select everything and click on F9 to smooth it all up. And this is what it gives us. It took way too much time for it to look that basic and not that good. I could spend another 30 minutes trying to tweak it for it to look better. But we as editors, we don't have that much time and we have other clients to also, to also provide for. So instead of wasting your time, I'll show you another way that will make your workflow even faster and better in a shorter amount of time. Okay, so now I just undid everything and now we're back from zero. And now what I'm going to do is simply use the 3D5 Pro plugin. So this plugin basically automates the whole process of setting up a 3D scene inside of After Effects. So I'll simply click on the Create 3D Camera and Layers button. And if I go to two views, as you can see, the scene is basically placed automatically. So what I'll, what I'll just need to do is simply rotate my floor down like this. Then just I'll just have to click on the Expand selected layer 
okay now we have a decent table now what i'm going to do is simply just adjust the position of my camera so i'll just do that right now with the slider right there so I just put the slider a little bit up like this and the background layer is actually too small for me so i'll just click on the expand background button and i'll just adjust it for it to be a little bit cleaner and i'll also just push back the the table a little bit more so it can look clean okay so this is good now as you can see it already looks better now what i'm going to do is simply click on the camera controller click on p then simply make a simple animation you know nothing too fancy As you can see the animation already looks smoother and the composition a lot better but it's not over yet i still can add the add camera shake button which is really insanely powerful since you can control the shake in detail with these sliders right there as you can see in just a couple of seconds the animation already looks better so it gives me more time to literally focus on the little details like now i can add a little bit of shadow underneath the arms i can animate my subject i can do so much more so with this plugin I can basically focus more on the creative and the most important part rather than the setup which the, the client don't care about they only care about the final output but the setup is really important so this is why this plugin is really useful because it does the, the whole setup for you without you even breaking a sweat but the final output is still good so i'll simply polish this animation even more so i'll make a pre-composition of this layer right there i'll turn it back into 3d and i'll just add the shadows underneath the arms so it can look a little bit more realistic i will also try to animate my character and as you can see the result is actually better than the first method and i did it in a shorter amount of time and the quality was still as good without even putting as much effort as the first method so if you're interested in this plugin don't hesitate to buy it the link will be in my description and i got you guys with the 10 percent discount code it will appear on the screen right now and this does not only apply to the iman gadzi style it also applies to the houston cold style which uses a lot of 3d camera so if you're interested in this style also don't hesitate to check out this video right there